everybody, it's me Jackie Armand. I'm back again with another spooky video. Uh, today, um, I thought we would do uh, a little kind of like witchy craft, obviously. And since, you know, uh, February is getting close to being over, might be over by the time this video posts, but um, I felt like, you know, it's still kind of the season of love a little bit, so, you know, maybe we could still kind of incorporate something into that and do something before March starts. Uh, so what I thought we would do today is make a little um, cauldron candy dish or candy bowl. You could also use it for other things. It doesn't have to be just for candy, but it, it will be able to be food safe and you can put candy in it. You will see as we go along that if uh, you have been to my Etsy shop before, this is on there. This little cauldron is there. I sell it with as long uh, with a whole bunch of different colors. So if you watch this video and you feel like maybe you don't feel like really making that, <laughs> you want it but you don't feel like making it, you head on there and uh, purchase one. They're not that expensive. But uh, regardless, I'm you know going to show you how to make it anyway. Um, I guess before we get started though, I would like to say that if this is the kind of content you're interested in, if you like crafts, if you like tutorials, you like uh, spooky recipes, <laughs> you like black kitties, uh, or basically anything all around spooky, um, I also do some costuming on my channel, that you would give this video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. It is Halloween all year long here, not just in October. So if that is something you are interested in, then please stay tuned because it's a lot of spooky fun on this channel. Also, if you would like to support this channel a little more personal way, I do have a Patreon. Patrons get a chance to win monthly giveaways that have to do with lots of things uh, that I make on this channel. So if uh, after watching this video, the thing that we make today seems like something you might be interested in possibly winning, then head on down to uh, patreon.com slash Jackie Armand and uh, consider giving us a little bit of support. Okay, without further ado, I guess we will go ahead and get into the video. All right, guys. Hi, we're back in the craft room. I'm gonna take this off. Ugh, what the hell? Yeehaw! Okay. So, um, what you're gonna need to make this little uh, cauldron candle holder is, oh, hold on. <laughs> All right, back. You're gonna need um, uh, any kind of little bowl that you want to make your cauldron out of. It can be whatever size you want. I got this at the dollar store. So really cheap. You can make one bigger if you wanted to, I guess. You will need some black paint, some pink paint for this project. I'm using pink. You could use whatever color you wanted. It's whatever color you pick is going to be basically the inside of the cauldron and you know whatever little potion is going to be spilling out over the sides that we're going to paint. So. Just decide whatever color you want. We're doing pink for the sake of Valentine's Day and in a way to incorporate it into February. <laughs> so it's going to be pink. We're going to pretend like a love potion is burning in there or something like that, I guess. But like I said, you can do whatever you want it. And a plastic little uh, shower curtain rings. Now I bought just like a whole bunch of these like really cheap at Walmart. They were like replacement ones that, or whatever. We're gonna cut it. So you do want it to be plastic because you want it to be able to be easily cut because we are going to cut it in half. This is gonna be used to make the little, um, the little uh, handles on the side of the cauldron. So, oh, and then also I don't have it with me right now, but a uh, hot glue gun and some hot glue. Okay, so basically what we're gonna start to do 
It's just a whole lot of painting mostly, and so obviously there could be some drying time involved again. But basically the way we're gonna do this is in order to make the inside of this pink and the outside black or the, of the cauldron, we're gonna paint the outside pink first. We're gonna do an outside pink layer first, and then we're gonna do an out, and then we're gonna go over it again with black. So then that way the pink will show through the glass and you'll see it on the inside, but there won't actually be any paint on the inside because it's important that we don't, we do that because if you want to put candy in there, you don't want to have like toxic paint in it. And then also, you know, you don't want anything chipping off. Like I know acrylic paint isn't too toxic, but like you don't want it chipping off on your food. Also, if you're going to put like a candle in here, you don't really want any like flammable paint on the inside. It just seems like a really bad idea. So we're going to try not to, we don't want to paint on the inside actually, but we want it to look like it's, you know, different color on the inside. So that's how we're going to achieve this. So basically what we're going to do first is we're going to paint the whole thing pink, even the bottom. And sometimes this might take a couple of layers um, because you really want to make sure that every single spot is is pink or whatever color you're doing because whatever you miss is the black's gonna show through so this might take a couple of coats sometimes the black takes a couple of coats too but i know usually the color and depending on what color you have it can take several coats so we're gonna do that first we're gonna do the pink layer and then of course we'll go over with black and then we'll go on to the rest of it which is a little more creative um you know we got some more creative license with the rest of it so yeah, that's what we're going to do next first. And uh, okay, I will see you in a bit after we're done with all that painting. The next day.
day two. So, yet again, I um, did not anticipate uh, the amount of time certain things would take to dry. At this point, is anyone surprised? Um, if you are surprised, then you're new here. But anyway, so... <laughs> so, today we're gonna finish it. Um, we've only got a little bit left to do. All that we got left is we just have to, um, paint the little, um, drips around the edge. And then we're gonna put the handles on and then we'll pretty much uh, be done. So there's not much left. Uh, and I guess uh, with that, we'll just go ahead and get to finishing it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pink paint that we used to uh, get the inside of the you know, cauldron and we're gonna um, just go around with a brush and we're just gonna kinda go around and paint um, little drips around the outside as if like the potion is dripped over. There's not really any rhyme or reason to this. I'm just gonna kind of go around and paint and, uh, you know, make it look like how I want it to look. If you are doing this at home and, you know, you get to a point where something didn't look exactly the way you wanted, you can always take the black paint and go back over it to kind of like go over spots to erase, you know, what you didn't like. But um, yeah, basically I'm just gonna kind of just make random drips around all around the edge, color it in, and uh, then we'll get on to the next thing, okay? Now this is all pretty much dry, 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put like what will be the little handles on either side. So what I did is, um, you know, earlier I told you you need one of those um, like plastic curtain rod uh, little holders for like a shower curtain. I bought like a pack of them at uh, Walmart. They were pretty cheap. Um, and you'll want them to be plastic because uh, we cut it in half. So I just kind of took some scissors and I just kind of like scored around it with the scissors and enough to where then I was able to just pop it off. Um, it's really not that hard to, to get them to come apart. And you don't have to really worry about it if it's not perfectly even because uh, we're gonna cover up these little edges anyway, so. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one on each side of the cauldron, kind of like this, to make it look like the little handles. And usually the way I do this um, is I'll pick a side that I want it to go on and I'll glue it on, um, which we're gonna use hot glue for this. Um, and then when I go to do the other one, I kind of look at it like, over stand up and do like look at it from the top so that um, I can make sure that it will be indeed pretty evenly uh, on each side um, each opposite side um, but I'm just gonna eyeball it I'm not gonna make I'm not to worry about it being perfect but then once we have them glued on then what we're gonna do with the hot glue is we're gonna just make two little dollops here to cover up these like this rough edge and this edge here and it's just gonna kind of make it look like that's what's welded the handles on, so to speak. Um, and then after all that gluing, we're gonna paint the handles black and then we'll be pretty much done. I think other than that, I'm gonna maybe take it outside and spray it with a clear sealant that is um, glossy. But yeah, other than that, uh, we will be finished with them. So, okay, well, let's get started.
we're done! <laughs> it is so cute! Um, I ended up, you know, going over it with a glossy, um, coat, which, I mean, I guess you could do a matte if you wanted, but, um, I don't know, I just thought the glossy looked better. I've got some candy in here. Technically, there it's Easter candy right now because, well, um, there's no really no more Valentine's Day candy anymore, but, um, I mean, this could work for Easter too because it's, like, pink and pastel, you know, and you could do whatever, you could do some other pastel colors, um, and it would work for the Easter season too, I suppose, so, which, you know, works out because I started this video as kind of a means for, an, you know, excuse for another, like, Valentine's Day craft, but then it kind of trickled into March, so, you know, I guess this could eventually be, like, an Easter thing, I guess, but, um, yeah, it's really cute, and you can also put, like, a little candle in it, um, I did that for a while, one of these little, like, LED light-up fake candles in there, um, you can put a real candle in it, too, if you wanted to, there's nothing, like, nothing saying you couldn't do that. That's the one of the great things about, you know, painting it on the outside and not painting the inside. Uh, we can, you know, put loose candy in here. You can do pretty much whatever you want with it. But yeah, it's really cute. Um, I like it. And like I said, if, uh, you know, you don't feel like, um, uh, <laughs> you don't feel like making one of these yourself, you know, you can head on to my Etsy shop where I sell these, uh, and they're all different colors, different little pastel colors, so, you know, you can head on that. I think they're only like $10. If you didn't feel like making it yourself, then, you know, I could just make it for you. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much that's it. That's the end of the video. So, you know, if you guys stuck around to the end, thank you so much. Um, I thought it was just like a fun little witchy craft that I could put in there. As far as like next videos go, uh, you know, I, I, I'm buying some things for my Halloween costume because I do really want to start that. Anyway, um, I do want to start working on my costume, uh, you know, I've got a lot of things going on in October this year, so I'd really like to get my costume finished ahead of time. So I am buying that, I bought, I'm buying the corset that I'm using, to, that I'm gonna fix up, and then some colored cheesecloth for the sleeves. So that will probably be a video coming up. Um, I don't know if that will be the next video or not, but I do also plan on doing some Hocus Pocus potion bottles as a, like, uh, another video, so that will probably be something, either that will be next or costume working will be next, I don't know, but one of those two things, something Hocus pocus -y will be next. Um, so, look forward to that. Um, yeah, so, um, like, you know, if you liked this video, um, as always, please give it a thumbs up, and, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to ring the bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. Um, <clears throat> uh, I will leave links to all my social media in the description, my, um, Instagram and my TikTok, uh, especially, and also my Etsy shop where I sell a lot of Halloween-y, witchy things all year long, like this. And, uh, also, you know, if you want to support this channel in a little more personal way, um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can head to patreon.com slash Jackie Armand and, uh, consider being a patron. Patrons can earn rewards, um, uh, included in those are, uh, monthly giveaways. You can be a part of monthly giveaways that I want to start doing. And those giveaways are in usually items that I already make on this channel, so... Um, if you're interested in winning something kind of like this or something else that I make, that I've made in the past, um, if that's interesting to you, then, uh, consider heading down there and, uh, give them a little support. Everything, anything is helpful. Also, if you're new here and you don't know, 
I have two books on Amazon. One is a zombie romance and one is a vampire adventure story. They are available as paperback and Kindle versions. And you can read a little snippet of the Kindle version uh, before you buy in case, you know, you want to see if it's your thing or not. And if you do decide to buy them and you enjoy them, please give them a good review because it helps me a lot. I will also leave a link to my author website, which is jrlawsonnovels.com. My author name is my maiden name. <laughs> you can read a sneak peek of the book that I am writing right now. Um, do you want to come in or not? Come in, kitty. No, I'm not feeding you. <laughs> my God. <laughs> it is, it, it, the book is about a uh, young woman who is possessed by a demon. So if that's interesting to you, maybe you can check that out and uh, I will let you guys know when that book becomes available when I'm finished with it. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you as always for all the likes, the support, the love, the subscribes, all of that. And uh, other than that, you guys just stay spooky, and uh, I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye! Mm -hmm.